Hello everyone and welcome to this video in which I'm going to share with you a quick way to get started with IFCJS using a command line application. So especially if you are a beginner or if you don't want to waste time on configurations and all of that stuff. Uh, so this is a good solution for you. So let's see. So I'm going to link this to uh, the description below. Uh, this is the uh, application that I built a few, uh, few days, maybe two weeks ago. And so far it's able to create two templates. The first one is JavaScript and Rollup. And this is the uh, exact, um, it's almost the exact one that you can find on the IFCJS documentation. And the second one is with Webpack. So to install it, you can use either uh, npm installed globally uh, cli-ifcjs or mpx cli-ifcjs. So let's see, or before that, uh, just to remember to have Node.js uh, Node installed on your, uh, on your device. So let's start now. I'm just going to open a command line and I'm going to create a folder. So I'm going to go to my D and in there I'm going to create a folder. Let's call it IFC JS demo enter and I'm going to CD to that IFC JS demo so once I'm in there, I'm just going to say code dot and it's going to open the um, Visual Studio code for me. So I'm going to close this and in here, I'm going to open the terminal one more time and I'm going to copy this and paste it here and hit, hit enter. And in a few seconds, as you can see, you can choose with the arrow up and down. Let's go with the roll up, hit enter. And here you can initialize git or not. Let's initialize it with space. You can remove it with space or, and then hit enter. And we are going to wait for a few seconds to have our files and folders created. So now, as you can see, it's installing the dependencies and it is done. Great. So now let's build this project. So I'm going to hit npm run build. And then, all right, wait a second. Yes, npm run start. Great. Now it is ready. So if you are using, as I used in here, rollup, uh, you have to go to the extension in here and install live server, this one. If you have it installed, you can follow the next step with me in the source click with the right button on index.html and open with a live server. And there you go. Here I have my, uh, my grid in here and I can choose a file. So I'm going to use this one. And as you can see, it is opened and I have my rivet file opened on my browser here. Great. So you can go ahead now and make your changes to the index.js or to the styling, the CSS, HTML, whatever you want to change, you can change. And uh, you can add more modules and import them in this index. They are going to be all bundled together thanks to Rollup. And yeah, that's it. So if you install it with Webpack, with the other template, it's going to be served uh, automatically without, uh, without clicking on the open with a live server. All right. So yeah, um, tell me what do you think about this in the comment section, if you have any suggestions, questions, whatever. 
and thanks for watching and see you next time.